Howdy everybody. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan out here at San Francisco State University. Glad you could join us. Give me a second here and I'll have it all set up. Turn the ringer down so you don't get that annoying ringing, ringing, ring. Anyway. We're out here at Malcolm X Plaza here at San Francisco State University. Just arrived. Uh, we're on San Francisco time, so we're 20 minutes late. Uh, so, uh, doing our best. If it gets a little windy out here, just let me know. It's a beautiful day, a little crisp in the mid 60s. And we're out here at the beautiful campus of San Francisco State University. Recently, there was a series of beatings that were administered. To members of the San Francisco Commune that were here as guests, uh, people in the dormitories, uh, people were tased, which is direct violation of San Francisco Police Department orders. Um, and then I'm told that San Francisco state cops are not San Francisco uh, Police Department cops. So, do we feel safe on our own campus? Right. You know, is it the job of the uh, police department to be beating uh, young people here at San Francisco State? Uh, we got Punt Boy, he's out here as well. We got a pretty good crowd of about 100 people here so far. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little late. That's usually the way it works here in the city. Anyway, before you think I'm crazy, I get that look all the time. Uh, people think that you're uh, that you're talking to yourself when you're actually speaking to the camera. Anyway, glad to, uh, glad to have you guys joining us. We're out here at San Francisco State University, Malcolm X Plaza, at the Cesar Chavez Student Center. Got a nice crowd of students here, about 100 people. There he is, world famous punk boy. He's out here as well. I don't know if he'll be streaming. Anyway, we're going to move in a little closer here. I see Ryan rising. Anyway, what we're out here, uh, we will uh, we'll be evident here. We'll have some speakers here to talk about exactly why we're here and why we're protesting. Well, it could use a little more chocolate, always. Thought that was my ears ringing for a second there. I was going to say my hearing's not that bad. <laughs> oh, there's Jeff. 
How are you doing, my man? Hello again. Glad to see you're here. Yeah. Are you live streaming today? All right. Oh, that's Jeff Coy. He's on uh, Ustream. Yeah. Okay, you can check him out as well. Uh, yeah, you can find me at oyslive.tv. Justin, what's your name? Uh, I'm at activiststream.com. That, that's, that's activist stream. Right, it's embedded in the player or uh, Ustream, uh, U-S-T-R-E dot A-M slash capital N, little H, little U, capital D. Okay. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Activist stream's easier. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why it's posted. Yeah. I know, I remember it. One word. So we got lots of coverage. Punk Boys here as well. Yeah, yeah. So. They pick me up out of nowhere. Someone put me down. Yeah, I mean, uh, there are people here from the commune since about 1:30. Um, nothing really started yet. Yeah, it's, I kind of get the drift here. Yeah. We're on San Francisco time, <laughs> which is generally half an hour late. I'm glad it's not like Mexico time. Yeah, an hour or two to get. San Francisco Police State University. Right, you know, San Francisco State has a long history of beating their students, uh, dating back to the uh, mid-60s. Um, they came out here, and this was a site of numerous brutalities uh, that were committed against San Francisco State students at the time. So what's happening today is a continuation of that brutality that's been going on since the 60s. For the students here that are not familiar with what's going on out here. State University, uh, covering the uh, police brutality that was uh, this dance party, protesting the police brutality that happened out here on May the 17th, uh, with five San Francisco SF Commune guests at the university were beaten, and I believe one of them is still in jail right now. Um, they were actually beaten while they were in custody, uh, which is nothing new for the San Francisco State Police Department. Uh, they've been beating people since the 60s, and uh, this is just a continuation of the beatings that they regularly administer to the students here whenever they get out of line. So I'm just wondering if there's going to be any speakers out here. I will be content just to show you what's going on. And uh, it gets a little windy out here. So if there's a little wind in the mic, please forgive me. So we got a, we got a good 100 people out here, maybe 150. Also, you can catch uh, other live streamers out here, or Jeff Cloy, J-E-F-F-K-L-O-Y, uh, he's on Ustream, and then we got the uh, Punk Boy and SF is also out here. Anyway, speakers are getting ready to start. All right, we're gathering here today because we want to call attention to the fact that we've been abused on campus by our own peace officers. These peace officers coming through our campuses without, without authority, without permission, and they abuse us, abusing 
abusing us everywhere, abusing not only on California campuses, but also in California and all over the world, all over the United States. It's abuse, it's a problem, it's an epidemic. So, we like to call attention also to the fact that resisting abuse is not resisting arrest. We, these people on campus have been beaten and are not, they're not resisting arrest, but rather assist, resisting abuse. So the fact that when they are beaten, they are tense, it's because they are being beaten, not because they are being arrested. So please remember the fact that po the police are beating us and we're not resisting arrest, but resisting abuse. Thank you. So everybody who is concerned about the fact that people are being beat on our campus, students, your friends, your peers, being beat on this campus by peace officers, please join us. We are a nonviolent group. Any violence on this campus today will be from the police officers. Thank you. There you go, folks. That's a little short statement about why we're out here. coverage out here. We've got three live streamers out here right now. So I'm gonna make sure the word gets out. We're up on Global Rev, we're up at Rise PDX. So We're at 19th Avenue in Holloway. Uh, you can take a M train. It'll take you right out here. And then walk down through campus. It's about three blocks. All downhill. It's not a problem. I do log on to the social streams.
Police officers out here right now, they're probably hiding somewhere. Something's not gonna happen. Yeah. You know, you gotta be in here. When you do these streets, you gotta be here for the long haul, right? Yeah, it's not a mistake. It's not. Don't think I need to be holding up for the Oh, you gave yourself a balance about it. you're watching, I'll let your friends and neighbors know we're out here at San Francisco State University. And if you're in the area, drop by. We're at Malcolm X Plaza at 19th Avenue in Holloway. Not too much how you doing, my man. I'm going to get up here and uh, give everybody a bird's eye view here in a second. That is if I get more viewers. Right, I got two viewers now. I don't know if I want to climb all the way up to the top of a bunch of steps. Yeah, I gotta have at least five people to get me out of my chair, you know. Yeah, I haven't been feeling too good myself either. That's why I haven't really been out. I will be out for a march against Monsanto this Saturday. Yeah, yeah, it starts at 11 at Union Square in San Francisco. It's also worldwide. Yeah, I'm gonna move out of this so I can start to get up right. Yeah. No, stop! Like, be flat! I gotta move out of the sun, bro. You're just hoping it's not flat and you're like, they're a little like, you know, There we go. Yeah, San Francisco sun, you'll get uh, sunburn real quick here. You don't watch it. Hey, how, are you? how you doing? Anywhere over here at Malcolm X Plaza at San Francisco State University for the dance party that's being held in uh, solidarity with uh, the San Francisco State Five who were arrested here the other day and beaten by police and tased, uh, which is direct violation of San Francisco Police Department orders. So, uh, oh wow, our viewership just jumped up. All right, folks, since I got. More viewers here and everything. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and climb the steps so I can give you a bird's eye view about what's going on down here. Mm -hmm. 
give me a second. I'm really slow going up the steps. Getting better though, walking around. So here we go. Give you a little view. What's going on out here? So glad everybody's watching. We're down here at Malcolm X Plaza, San Francisco State University. So glad everybody's watching. You log into the social stream if you have any questions or if you'd like to chat. Okay, enough scene. Let's go back down. And we're going to have some speakers here in a second. Liberate the land, that'll be on June the 1st. We're covering that as well. Good old Liam all clack Sullivan's back out of speed again. Starting to feel a little bit better. Beating people here since the 60s. <laughs> hey guys. What are you doing? Where's the other day? Clever being one of them. State University. Uh, Can't help but being so, a rabble rouser, folks. <laughs> uh, as many of you may have heard, five of my friends were beat by police last Thursday. They were invited to hang out in Mary Ward by two residents of the dorms. And they were just hanging out there. A few of them decided to go walk down to the designated smoking area to smoke a cigarette and some police approached them and started harassing them, asking why they were there, what their business was, they asked them their names. And these people decided to exercise their constitutional rights by walking away and going back to the dorms where they were guests of. Uh, the police followed them inside to the second floor and tried to detain one of them. Uh, he pushed and shoved them, and an altercation broke out. The people who were hanging out in the dorm came out and exchanged some words with the police, yelled and told them to stop beating their friend to let them go. More officers came up the elevator, including an undercover who was unmarked, and they also tried to detain four more individuals and proceeded to beat the shit out of them. There's video of this online, and a lot of the brutality wasn't actually captured on video. It occurred behind the scenes. Uh, the police officers took one of the individuals inside in the paddy wagon, covered up the windows, and 
the, his screams could be heard from outside. You could hear the batons hitting the walls of the paddy wagon. I can hear it too. You can hear it too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck the police. Um, so the individuals were uh, charged with some completely bullshit charges of obstruction of justice, uh, de-arresting, otherwise known as lynching, assault or battery on a peace officer, trespassing, conspiracy to riot. They were held on a hundred and ten thousand dollar bail and taken to jail where they received no medical attention. When they died, their wounds could be treated, the police officers laughed at their in their face. Yeah, fucking I talked animals, to one that's of my why. friends from the jail. He called me and he was crying because the pain because of the pain he was in. I think this is complete bullshit and we have to stand up and ask the police, ask, or not even ask, we have to demand the administration to take responsibility, demand the these motherfuckers. take responsibility for hurting for no apparent reason. And with their jobs. Fired! They should be fired! Um, and disciplined! On Friday, we had a impromptu rally here, and a good amount of people showed up. It was really awesome, and ever since then, uh, the police have been harassing me here. They've been following me around. FTP. Um, on Sunday, I was putting up flyers with some friends, and the police detained me for over an hour. Uh, A-cab. Officer Ruiz said that if I didn't see, sit down, he would beat me down. Um, Where's that? that? Where's he at now? Little officer fucking coward. Ruiz. Ruiz, okay. Officer Ruiz harasses students. Where's that That's fucking coward at now? Alright. Well, fuck him. He's uh, a coward. <laughs> officer Ruiz. He's the most unprofessional police officer on campus and has been harassing students for as long as I can remember. Coward with the Billy Club. Um, so they detained me for over an hour, uh, harassed me, threatened to beat me. And let me go as I was. This was right before finals too, so they wasted a lot of my time that I could have spent studying. Let them try and fucking pull that shit on me. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was, after they released me, I was walking to the library, and this cop car creeped behind me. And halfway there, they stopped me and continued to harass me and issued me a conduct violation for looking suspicious. I was walking on the campus that I paid nine thousand dollars a year to attend to walk to the library, and I got a conduct violation for looking suspicious and like I was up to no good. I did not put the police on this campus. I don't think I'll be coming back here next semester because of this bullshit and for other reasons because this school is kind of a joke, to be honest. Um, All kinds so, of bastards. Uh, also, Officer Ruiz, when, when my friend Dylan here tried to fill the location in the police direction, which happened, Officer Ruiz confiscated his camera and he lunged at him. Yeah, Ruiz needs the to be taken off the job. Confiscated it, put it in his pocket, and said, I will take it down. He is going to take it anybody's is shit down. Illegal, and I will not stop until this motherfucker is curtailed or he is. A punk. That's right. Ruiz is a punk. Ruiz is a punk. That's right. Ruiz is a punk. We want his job. Ruiz is a punk. The other day when I saw him talking to my friends, we all have the right to film the police at all times. All the time. FTP. I was filming him. I was complying with him, being where he wanted me to be, so that he didn't feel threatened. And he snatched my phone out of my hands and wouldn't let me record him. And I had to get another officer to get my phone back from him. But that's completely unacceptable, especially after the other day. Where it's against the law to take your phone. Had, we wouldn't have had any evidence against the police. So film the police. <laughs> yeah, it's against the law to do that. You need a lawyer, dude? So, offer, officer Ruiz and, uh, uh, Contact me, I'll get you a lawyer. Officer Ruiz has a tendency to assert his authority over others. We'll be going to school here for free for the next uh, few semesters. What he said to me was, well, he's just a really cocky 
guy. He said to me, uh, you know, I, lo I know a lot about everything, so you can trust me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, trust the police. You know, uh, he, took his he, he, took, he took my friend's phone without... He took Dylan's phone when he shouldn't have uh, done it. And, you know, so many people seem to be misinformed or something, or have to decide with people that can't be trusted. It's like, who do we give the credibility to? Uh, yeah. Fuck the police. Uh, I think. Yeah, we're the only ones that are on campus. Each other as citizens. Then uh. Gotta go and talk to the police department. And uh, ultimately tyranny. So thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Siobhan, and I'm a student at SF State. Uh, what I witnessed the other night is beyond horrifying. Uh, I think Pedro already reiterated what was seen, so I don't need to repeat the brutalities that SFPD goes But SF State students, I want to appeal to you guys, and I want you guys to understand yeah, you, the Bender. truth in what happened. The police are trying to cover up what they did. They removed our video from YouTube, but luckily it's posted in many places. This is a complete abuse of power. Fuck the police! These people, these people I like to see were dead. Yeah. They were not protesting anything. They were not endangering anyone. Their crime is hanging out with their friends. I know you guys hang out with your friends every day. Imagine being brutalized, beaten, and refused medical aid for simply being around your friends. This school's history is one of radical activity. Right. Mrs. Malcolm X Plaza. Not like it is, sister. Hi, my name pay is him a little Tasha. cough today. I was here Thursday, May 16th, with a group of about 10 people. We were invited into the dorm of Tiffany and Brooke. Um, two other people that were in our group have left the room. And not only a couple seconds later, we heard screaming. That we are being arrested. We are being arrested. Please help us. I exited the room with my film, with my camera, recording the police. Carlos was informing the police that we were a guest and we we were invited here, that we were not trespassing. The officer continued to arrest him. It's called for backup. More officers came up in the elevator. My friend Johnny was detained in handcuffs, not resisting. More people came out of the dorm a little rowdy and, and asking the police why our friends were being detained. None of the police answered our questions. None of the police answered what, what law was broken. Why were our friends being detained? More people were arrested. My friend Tanya was tackled to the ground by four officers. Ooh. Melissa was tackled to the ground by two officers, choked out. My friend Baba is the one in the video getting a flashlight shoved in his ribs. His name is Kevin. Those officers use excessive force in arresting my friend Kevin. Shame on San Francisco Police Department. For allowing such brutality on students' guests, we were not trespassing. We were not. We were not in conspiracy to start a riot. We were not demonstrating. We were not protesting. We were simply visiting our friends in Mary Ward Hall. Our friends were excessively beat. My friend Carlos was taken into an ambulance. In a vehicle, we were supposed to be there to help people. He was taking on a gurney strap and beat with a flashlight. The same flashlight that my friend Kevin was beat with. The same undercover officer took my friend Carlos in the ambulance and abused him. They then 
the police! the sidewalk. Because they were uh, at the commune. I was able to have a friend visit them in jail, and she was able to see Carlos and Baba, and both of them have so many bruises all over their body that it's hard for them to sleep right now, and they're still there. Why well, they're not releasing them? It's fucking bullshit. And I just not only want to see them get out of jail so bad and see the charges get dropped, which are complete bullshit. I want to see justice for the police that did this to them. They have no right to beat someone up for walking into a building. That's fucking insane. Sell the shit out of them. There's no reason in order for someone not to That's going to be your only recourse. Beat them up in a paddy wagon. Beat them up in an empty wagon. That's fucking ridiculous. So I'm so happy to see everyone here standing up against that. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
to grab a flyer and be informed. You're out here to know what happened, to know what actually happened to the people that were brutalized that night. So grab a flyer and raise awareness. Thank you for coming. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hey. I've come here with a little information for you. So I spent the entire night compiling from, this comes from the National Criminal Justice Reference Center. This is a compilation of 5,000 police officers who were surveyed across the country, and they were asked multiple questions, whether A, which statement they agree with more, or how do they feel about certain things. And they were asked particular questions. And I want to share just a few of those statistics of what actual police officers said they feel about their job. Uh-oh. <laughs> what you got? 43% of police surveyed stated that always following the rules is not compatible with getting the job done. 25% reported witnessing a fellow officer harassing someone because of their race. Fuck the police! Stop and frisk. 52% agreed with the statement. It is not unusual for a police officer to turn a blind eye to improper conduct committed by other officers. Shame. This is the one that disturbs me the most and applies the most to this situation. 49%, half of the police surveyed, 49% feel that the only way a criminal will receive any punishment was to punish the victim themselves. 67% felt that they would be given the cold shoulder if they reported any other officer's misconduct. 19% of all misconduct charges filed against the police are police brutality. Do you know what second is? We have 10% sexual harassment. Of course. There are thousands of stories of cops sexually harassing women and men on top of beating them. And I want to share also with you some of my personal experiences with police brutality. I've been homeless since I was 16 years old. The police have been targeting the homeless for a long time. A long time. The police have been given multiple responsibilities to handle homeless people. They are given the right to arrest us for trespassing. They are given the right to do pretty much whatever they want as long as we leave. I will give you an example. I was in Kentucky in a very small town called Sparta. I did not plan to stay in Sparta. I did not plan to live in Sparta. I merely was in Sparta and was stuck there for a night. I went to sleep on the side of the road, not bothering anyone, not on anyone's property, not harassing anyone. I talked to nobody in the town. I was just going to sleep. I woke up to a police officer kicking me in the back, not telling me he was there, just kicking me in the back. I didn't know it was a police officer, so I woke up instantly, sat up, and was like, what the fuck? And the cop told me, stop resisting, as he grabbed me by the neck and slammed me into the ground. I was then taken by that police officer, escorted out of town on a highway out in the middle of nowhere, and dropped off and told, best of luck. Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck the Police brutality is a very real part of America. It does exist. We can't hide from it. Most police officers who are charged with misconduct Keep your don't ever out. get charged with anything. There's no justice. There's no nothing. The police are allowed to do as they please, whenever they please. And maybe they're not all going to beat the shit out of you, but doesn't it disturb you that they can and get away with it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why is nobody bothered by that fact? Why is nobody disturbed by the fact that the police have done multiple times, have shown multiple times throughout history the history of the police is the history of violence. Is. And racism. And racism. And domination. I can, that's a long story for another time. <laughs> that that one. It is. But I just wanted to share those statistics with you guys. So as you hear all these things and believe all this bullshit, that police really do think that they have the right to do this. And they do think that that is what they should be doing. Yay! <laughs> Oh, we will have some more speakers here, I guess. Come on, man. 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 Come
Then we can walk over to the police station on campus and tell those motherfuckers what's up. And then we can come back here and party. There's be, there'll be music and food. So, that sounds good. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna go on a march, but... We have banners up here if anyone would like to hold one. So it looks like we're going to get ready to march to the scene of the crime here, folks. we got a good 75 people out here at Malcolm X Plaza in uh, San Francisco State University. Glad to watch you. Always appreciate your support. I think a call was given to uh, march to the uh, scene of the crime, the police crime, so to speak. And I did see some of those YouTube videos. Uh, just uh, do a search for SFSU or San Francisco State, and they will come up. And uh, even what you saw on the YouTube videos, that was only a small fraction of what was going on. Police department, mostly cowards, folks. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting ready to toss this recreation, or is that because his legs are I'm not real sure. I'm getting ready to toss this. Always hand powered. What am I thinking? Oh, like recreation. It's got to be a project or something. Well, I'm getting ready to throw this thing out pretty soon. Nine thousand dollars a year to go to school here. That's what nine thousand? Nine thousand. Stop and press! Reason to resist! 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 Stop and press! Reason
resist. Stop and frisk. Reason to 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 resist. Stop and frisk. A reason to resist. Stop and frisk. A reason to resist. Stop and frisk. There's right. G. Allen, the great poet G. Allen, folks. Yes, it will be a peaceful march. At least in intention. We'll see what happens. Resisting abuse is not resisting arrest. Resistance is not resisting arrest. Sorry about that, folks. Get the air for my liberal. Gotta make sure that my president is going to be out of I can feel attention in the air, though. Force means they won't use their. Force is one thing. 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 Yeah, you know, we handle our business. They're afraid of us. Yeah, we can use some more That's folks what we need at to this do. rally to march with us. If you are against police brutality, police harassment, police take any harm being done to other students, join us. Join us. Yeah, we're getting a little crowd together here. We're getting ready to march to the scene of the crime as well to the... Uh, Police Department here at San Francisco State University. Fuck the police! Fuck the police! No, I didn't see one of those. You get all the elements together and don't get caught with that stuff. Okay. We have a series of series of lunches at my place. Okay. That sounds like a winner. You know about this Saturday, right? Yeah. March against Monsanto. That starts at 11 at Union Square. Okay. I went through a lot of arguments with that this week. Because they put a corporate logo in some of the shit, right? And I was like, I'm not down with corporate logos at all. Oh, they had it on the card, the Facebook logo. Yeah. At any rate, we let it all drop. I'm not into getting into pointless arguments. It was popular by the Black Panthers. It was said on this campus. Yay! And Diamond Day, folks. Generations coming together. I don't want to say this. In 1968, on this campus, we're trying to get all the ethnic studies right here, right now, to that. So these people get together. The people are making a stand for the community coming in and saying, "Hey." What was the slogan there? We just had to let him in. The slogan that was there was, let's do it. On strike, shut it down. 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 That's what we just said. We're back there. We're going to make sure it's done. 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 The full scale battles. Check it out on YouTube. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. SF State. 
Destruction of others. Check it out on YouTube. Battles every day for weeks and weeks. Right on here in the scraps. Yeah, so this is only a little taste. Yeah, I remember all that stuff, folks. Experimental college. Yeah, what you see is a small taste. The Third World Liberation Front. That was the Brown Marines. That was the young guys, the Chinese students. All coming together, right here. Black Students Union. The Experimental Collins. The Joe Hill Club. Say it was your generation. That was the anarchist of that time. Out here, led in the hand, in unity, doing more together. As I said in Annika, we have the answer for all third world and, and oppressed people. That answer is unity. That answer is what? Unity. And that's not something that can come from the top. No fat guy party. I have to all that we've got to do They can only get to the bottom. And here we are at the bottom, even looking up. Say, cast that white net. Find that common thread. Let life flourish. And then, uh, don't keep it, don't panic, just keep it one. Keep it, forget it! Don't panic, keep it one. Forget it! Let's get on the same page. Get out of the box, the push it on, 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 push
and, and the role that police uh, play in our society, all right? And, and, and specifically oh. how it affects black and brown communities in the Bay Area oh, yeah. and nationally, right? So, so we got to, I don't know if you, if you were paying attention right now, they just played a chant. Uh, it said, the revolution has come off the pigs, right? Off the pigs. That was a chant that was spit by the Black Panther Party, right? And we understand that we're in close proximity to where the Black Panthers started, right? In Oakland, California, all right? Yeah. So just recognize, oh. just remember that, that legacy, right? And do justice for that legacy. And uh, we're definitely about to move on the beat, so, so join us. Oh! oh. oh. Follow the crowd out here. Let's see where we're going. Oh. Hey, brother. Hey, how you doing, my man? Good, good. Getting ready to go follow this little crowd of people. We're gonna. Yeah, it's this, this auto people power. Heading to the administration building. Uh, on scene of the crime. Zoom. And the police department. Ah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cool. The scene of the crime. Yeah, I just got done writing a really bitchin' pamphlet about this guy's situation. Well, they've been beating people here since the 60s. Oh, yeah, and, uh... And really brutally, too. Francisco's reputation, you know, the police department's reputation, what are they trying to do? I don't know. They're like, they want to be badasses, right? <laughs> they don't want to be cool San Francisco people. No, they're just a but bunch they of like cops guys. that live other places, you know? They like cops that have no ties to the community, because it's easier to oppress a community that you have no connection with. Right. And you think that the cops would have been here for a minute. Eh, I know, it's tough. I like to highlight the difference between the sheriff's department and their role and SFPD. I hate to 
say it, but if they are uh, assholes when we're down here, they're only going to make the situation worse. Oh yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, that they turn into be out to be big assholes. Yeah. Because we need to motivate this population. Oh, oh that's a big weenie dog. smells in some girl buggy. That's what it's all about. Anyway, we're headed over here to the scene of the crime where uh, five people were arrested and beaten by the San Francisco Police Department, uh, SFSU attachment. At the university, whose cops like to beat their students. Equal opportunity fascists. Anyway, sorry for letting the camera go, folks. I'm doing my best.
This is site where uh, five students would be here on Sunday, May 17th, I believe it was. This is a huge issue out here on campus. Um, the beating of students, as it should always be. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera, folks. Hey, was that now? I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm talking to them, but I'm an audience. <laughs> they want to know what's going on. That's right. Keep it straight broadcasting, man. You're making your own. You're not just like like lallygagging and taking from everybody else doing things. You're doing this. Right. I like that. We make our own media. Screw the networks. No, Screw MSM. Awesome. In the words of uh, Indie Bay, make media, make fun. Oh yeah. Okay, Here we go. Pardon me. Pardon me. All right, we're headed over to the SF State Police Department. Stop police brutality! 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 So we're here at the offices of uh, San Jose State University Police Department. Got a little mosh pit going on.
Got about a hundred students and associated people. We're down here we're at San Francisco, San Francisco State University. Here at the site of the police department. This is where we're at. That's why we're down here, folks. Protest the police beating of five students here on May 17th. Uh, do call San Francisco District Attorney's Office. I believe that number is 553-7432. You call the, the DA's office and tell them to drop the charges now against the SF Commune 5. Uh, this is a retaliatory police beating. So do, do call in. We could use your support. 415-553-4372. to kill, but they beauty cost, and enough is a mess that ain't no fool in us, God is this, but they only know one computer love, and then I'm black and what is sorry, but the rules of the is dressed to kill, black tie is suited up, and when the moon is up, the panel is out of stainless, like they're all freaking to the boys, and blue show up, dressed to kill, and that's how we do it, and we're all We do have quite a few onlookers that are watching here. Over here on the wall to your lab. I guess we got about 30 or 40 onlookers. About 100 students and associated folks. And we got you that are watching, the witnesses. That's because they're cowards! They're cowards! The police are cowards! Right. They can beat you at night when nobody's around, but when there's people around, they're nowhere to be found. The cowards! All right, so I guess we're going to move on here, folks. So we're going to move on here, folks. I don't know how by any idea where we're headed to, but we'll see in a minute. Uh, okay. All right, good. Okay, there you have it. Right. We're headed for the cop shop. Cops on campus! Cops on campus! Cops on campus! Cops are perfect! Thank you. 
the grass, man. You better put this police. Oakland police department. We don't give a fuck. We need to be Deal with these pigs. 
Right. You take him to court. Oh, that doesn't matter. You should be arresting your people. <laughs> I know. Well, the best way to fight the Well, the best way to fight the police department is get a lawyer and stay the fuck out. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe that's their best plan. Hopefully. That's the way you do it. They definitely have. They got a case. Yeah. 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 Whatever works. <laughs> it works. Alright, I'm gonna hop out of the chair when we can do this. Confuse us while advertisers getting that paper. We getting stupid, and all the while we don't realize how gone the youth is. Transport, they think they choose it. I see resistance is useless, and the truth is, I was born with niggas getting on. I'm looking at the wrong, and she's gonna reach for low Where is this joint at? I bet you they got the ugliest looking building on campus. Right down here, I would bet. Alright. I mean, I, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm fine. What is this, it? We're here. We're going back to the... Okay. Alrighty. Cruising on in with that. Gotta make the 180. Ah, ah, ah! You know what, they got the ugliest building on campus. No wonder they're so mean. Let's keep moving, we're not going that way, they're not going to fucking let us. I'm not going to keep moving. Keep moving! Keep moving, let's keep moving. Keep moving, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. I've been doing this for 40 years, so. <laughs> no, don't worry about him. It's okay there. Anyway, right now, for those of you who are watching, uh, we're marching through campus here. Uh, we're here we're today. Be 
Eat some more stooges! Eat some more fucking stooges, you fucking coward! You're a fucking coward! Don't be fucking choked! Cowards! Fucking cowards! Alright, some more cowards. There's another coward for you folks. Yeah, they don't like getting their fucking picture taken, do they, little motherfuckers? Bunch of fucking cowards. Let them follow us. You know, anything they do is going to be fucked up. Close it down, yo! Close up the gasket, right? Yeah. Uh, let's close the ranks here so people don't... Close it up, close it up, come on! Anyway, we're glad you're watching out here, folks. Closing off the perimeter. You are the witnesses. Yeah, we can go right up here, up this. What's going on here? Let's keep an eye out. Let's go. Let's just keep an eye out. They're not gonna, they're not gonna dare follow us, dude. Not even dare. Because they know that we got public opinion on our side. And if they do beat somebody and arrest somebody, that's just going to make it worse for them. Yep. Like, they're not stupid. Well, they might be stupid, but... <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Anyway, we're stopping to regroup here, if you're watching. Thanks for watching. Do retweet me. Let everybody know that we got the stream up and out. Free SF Commune 5! Free SF Commune 5! Free SF Commune 5! How do you spell coward? S-F-P-D. How do you spell coward? S-F-P-D. How do you spell coward? S-F-P-D. Bunch of fucking cowards. SFPD. 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 There's a great D. Allen poet. SFPD. Yeah, the trick on doing this is right is always get yourself an out. Like, right. so, you don't, so they can't get you cornered. I got it. Uh, you're still with a group of about 100 people. We're on campus here at San Francisco State University. Uh, fuck the police rally. Uh, in support of five students who were beaten here on May the 17th. Uh, one of whom is still in custody. Uh, many people were beaten in custody uh, purposely by members of the San Francisco Police Department. Uh, I see we got our steroid case right over there. Let's go get some shots of the steroid case. Let's ask him how much steroids he did this week. I'll give up here. We're gonna get you a better picture of these guys, so we know. So when you come on campus, right, you know who the hell that we're talking about, right? Make sure you get a nice, clear shot of the steroid cases that work for the SF Police Department. They like to tase people and beat people while they're in custody. Right, that's their MO. Let's beat people up when we have a chance, right? But they won't dare confront members of the press or anybody else. Right, especially this one in the middle behind the stop sign, right? He looks like a likely candidate for beating people while they're in custody. Right, we don't know whether he did or not. You know, but from the looks of it, he looks like he's been taking his daily dose of steroids. Which probably, I would imagine a lot of these cops do nowadays. Right? We need a piss test for the police department too. Right? 
Anyway, here's your uh, crowd, San Francisco State Police Department. All right, we got a sergeant, looks like, regular officer, and then we got some undercover droid. All right, we're just going to let them know that we're not afraid of their bullshit and who they are. At any rate. Right, it's not your campus, it's our campus. We pay the fucking taxes, not you, motherfucker. Right, you can bet, you can bet that this is going to be bigger than you, motherfuckers. And you're going to be lucky if we don't have your goddamn jobs. Comrade who's in jail uh, will be released today at 5:30 p.m. Yay! Hey. So it looks like all your calls and everything, people, are uh, were much needed. But we're also very thankful that you participated and that we appreciate it very much. I say we walk back to the plaza before these fucking cops try to do something funny. Ah, fuck them! You're fucking cowards! How do you spell coward? S F P D. Oh, I did give out the wrong number. Five five three seventeen fifty two. Sorry about that. How do you spell coward? S F D D. I'm gonna lie back here in the back here, keep an eye on things. <laughs> Negotiating this downhill. There's an elevator. Ah, an elevator, huh? Yeah. Maybe I should go end. catch the elevator. The hey, what's up, my friend? How's it going? Pretty good. Anyway, we're going to catch the elevator, folks. This will give me a good chance to uh, stop the stream for a second. There you go. And uh, so we're headed for the elevator. So if the stream goes out, you'll know the reason why. Gentlemen, okay, we're gonna stop the stream, folks. I'll restart it in a second. <laughs> 